I don't know how how I ended up accompanying people who are dying. I didn't say I, I want to do that. Just everybody kept dying. <laughs> In some ways, it all started with my sister. <laughs> my sister Annie nurtured my spirit. Birds would just land on her arm and she'd talk to rabbits and they'd come hopping over. She just knew and understood the connection we have with all things. She had that in her and she was relaying that to me. But she didn't fit into the ordinary world. In some ways, she was between worlds. They started locking her up. Natalie, this is Dr. Mate. Annie was here, but we haven't seen her for weeks. I just want you to know she's gone missing again. There wasn't a night when I didn't go to bed wondering, where is she sleeping? Is she cold? Is she hungry? Is she safe? But something always connected me back to her. Finally, I had to try to find her. One night, the phone rang. It was 4 a.m. They told me she died in the psychiatric ward. I said, why didn't you call me? I could have been there with her. They told me she was very scared and she was struggling. She was scared to let go.
Thank you.